Welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to check out Fresh Hopped Lager from Bells. Uh, this is a crawler to go from them. Um, if you've been following my channel, I, I've been picking these up every now and then, every chance I get to Kalamazoo anyway. Um, and before early 2000s, um, in the general store, you could get a growler. And I know, I don't see it. It was a humongous thing. Um, and then they actually, when cans, when they could start canning right away, um, they started coming out with these. And I would say probably the last three years, four years, maybe even five, um, they've been just canning them and putting them in the coolers at Bell's. Um, so that's kind of cool. I don't have to wait around for them to can it and do all that. Uh, so this one is 6% ABV. This was filled on 10-12, which was yesterday. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this open and get it into a glass. If you still want, um, I believe they will can this for you. It was on the board still. So um, you can get it canned if you don't believe them or whatever but i think it's easier just to get it out of the cooler they used to have a different cooler like right when you walked in your walked in the door to your left they had an extra fridge uh that had a glass front on it that was nothing but these and it was always different but i would say six months maybe nine months ago they took that out and they're just now with all the other beer so that's kind of cool. Uh, eggshell white colored head, pretty much all small bubbles. Uh, from that pour, almost a finger of head. Uh, very light yellow in color. Sure, lager. Lots of bubbles. Hopefully that's coming through. Um, here's a blender wise, and they are pretty much the same exact color, in my opinion. But I don't know what hops they're using. Um, I think for side yard, don't they use Chinook? I think. So I don't know if they grow any more or if they're just getting them from a hop yard. But let's go ahead and smell. Kind of danky citrus, maybe a little earthy like herbal. Definitely still smells kind of green. Uh, kind, of, kind of a weird smell. I guess that's getting better. There's still like a slight dank, dankness coming from there. Dank, like, like green leafy... A little herbal, earthy, but it almost smells like it's mosaic, like sweet berry. Yeah, sometimes I get I, I get it, and sometimes I don't. But maybe a little sweeter. This is six percent for a lager. It's probably kind of pushing it. Um, yeah, like fresh hop, green hop, leafy, a little herbal, but they're all real toned down. Like maybe that lager, that lager style, crisp, clean, um, is still coming through. Uh, so since that's not a big smell, you are getting those hops are using. I almost want to say like a mosaic or Nelson Savant, something like that, that'll give it some dankness, uh, hoppy dank hop. <laughs> I was trying to think of another one. Um, but I'm going to say it's probably local. So I don't think it would be a Nelson Savant or an El Dorado, something like that, but I could be wrong. It smells okay. I, I like that fresh, hoppy, green leaf. Um, maybe a little sweet berry. But that dank, maybe a little dank citrus, earthy, herbal. Uh, 
not my go-to. Let's go ahead and try it. Definitely tastes better than it smells. Lots of bitterness, like a citrus, rind, uh, bitterness. I would probably go with grapefruit for the citrus rind in there. Um, there's still something in there. Like a, like a honey malt. Like a honey sweetness, a, a malty sweetness. It almost seems like it shouldn't be there. I... I could see it being a mosaic or even a Simcoe. I think Simcoe would probably be better. Like I could definitely see, I, I'm not going to say it's it because it doesn't taste exactly like a Simcoe, but like that onion garlic malt in a beer, I could definitely see that being in here. What is that? There's something in there. Spice? I know. I, I'm all over the place on this one. Now it's like spicy. But I'm still getting like that, that sweeter, malty, like honey water. Something like that. Al along with that grapefruit rind citrus. What is going on with this beer? Like in the back, it's very bitter too. Something like last quarter of the palate. I don't like it. Um, on this one, I'm going to go 3.5. If it wasn't for that, it would probably be 3.754. Uh, there's a lot of bitterness in here. More than that sweetness. Plus that grapefruit. It's kind of dry. And that malt or maybe it's over hopped or something too, too much hops in here or something. I'm hoping untapped tells us, but I'm going to go 3.5. Can't win them all. Let's check untapped. Uh, they're not giving us the IBUs. None of my friends have had it. Two people have. There's no score. Um, Gosh, they don't even give you... So the somebody gave it a 3.75. Somebody else gave it a 4.25. Um, so they don't even tell us. And it's not going to tell us on here. Yeah, so I don't know what it's using. If you guys look it up and you want to leave it in the comments, cool. I'll try and remember too. But I, I would actually probably say pass on this one. But that's just me. You could be different. Go to Bell's and get it. So if you enjoyed this review, check out some more Bell's reviews over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And I'll see you in the next one.